Oh, help me. Guys, it was fun. It was fun, but we're not going to make it. A pig is going to kill me. A space pig is going to kill me. Bomb exploding. Keep clear. Oh, they got me at the last possible second. Oh, but my controller rumbled, and it was glorious. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are checking out the Nintendo 64 classic known as Star Fox 64. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Got the voice acting starting already. Got these beautiful polygon graphics from the 90s, I think, actually. See, now I'm not too sure. When did the N64 come out? Um, it's bad that I don't know that. I really should know that. So, Star Fox tells the tale of a ragtag group of mammals fighting a monkey and the various evil robots he's built. Oh, look at that glorious running action. This does not look like a combat-ready team. We have Slippy the Toad. Clearly, he's terrified for his life. The rabbit's just kind of going along with things. Peppy Hair, he doesn't know what's going on. We have, this guy is the only one who looks ready to kill things, Falco. He's kind of the dick of the team. And then we have Fox McCloud, kind of your Han Solo everyman kind of hero, I believe, actually. So I'm most familiar with Star Fox for the Super Nintendo, which this game is actually pretty much a remake of that game. Uh, but, you know, there's all this backstory about Fox McCloud and his dad and like Falco trained with him or something. I don't know. Um, you know, I always wondered why they kind of put so much effort into coming up with a background story for Star Fox. It's like the Nintendo executives are like sitting around a desk and they're like, nobody's gonna believe that a fox is piloting a ship. We gotta figure out a convincing backstory. Oh, we got Slippy there giving us a little dance. All right, so Star Fox 64. This, of course, is part of my 150th celebration. We've played Battlezone, we've played Mech Warrior 2. We are now on to episode 151, I believe, with Star Fox 64. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about what's coming in the Let's Play 1001 game series, but we'll also delve into this game uh, quite a bit. So let's go ahead and go to the main game. And I got a rumble pack in here. I think I have working batteries. We'll see. I might have to pause midway if they're not working and refresh them. I don't know how to tell. I guess if it's not shaking after a couple of levels, the batteries are dead. Uh, here we go. Fourth planet of the Lilat system. Getting some deep backstory here, guys. Let's pay attention. Thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet, Venom. Okay, long story short, kill stuff. I, I got it. Um, ooh, look at this. We can, like, look at the space environment and all th it's all 3 d eyes. I, I mean, I guess we only have one choice. It's that one planet. So let's just go for it. Corneria. In the Super Nintendo version, they also did have some voice dialogue, voice acting. It was far more primitive than this. And I remember when you started the game, it said, good luck. And everyone was like, whoa, the Nintendo's talking to us. It's the future. Like right there. He just said it. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we are in our wings. We are going to be shooting lots of stuff with lasers. I guess they're trying to build the mood with all the backstory the and uh, all the uh, the intense dialogue here. I gotta feel like this was more impressive back in the day. They're like very slowly showing off 3D polygon effects. They're like, look what we can do here. The wing's gonna move. Ooh. Like, you know, back when this came out, people were probably like, whoa, look at it. It's so crazy. But now it's sort of like, let's get to the killing. Let's get to the killing. I, I put an N64 game in because I wanted to kill things. That's the system you play when you want to kill things. So let's get to it. So now, uh, I've mentioned this before, but the I, I, I feel like I have to mention it every time. The N64 controller is so bizarre because it really has like three handles. And you have to play this game with your left hand clenching the middle handle, which locks off the whole, uh, the whole left side of the controller here. So, all right, let's see, let's see how well my Super Nintendo days have prepared me for Star Fox 64 here. Whoa! Uh, one thing that is very common in all the Star Fox games is that you have to, like, save your partners. 
So he's being shot at by some dude. I don't know how someone got behind you, because you were behind me. So are there enemies back there? Are you guys not covering my rear? You can do barrel rolls like that, which is pretty awesome. Um, how do you... Is there like an automatic shoot? No, there's like a charge shot, though. Okay, so that's a thing. Um, I remember these things from the Super Nintendo version. Little, like, uh, circles you could fly through that would, like, give you power-ups and stuff. Oh, God. Oh, God. And... Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> you can damage your wings in this game? <laughs> Which is not good. You don't want to damage your wings. So, yeah, totally... This is totally like a remake slash advancement of the Super Nintendo version. You also fly around through a city in that version. I keep talking about that version. Ah, uh, the break. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a guy on my tail. What the hell? Wait. How, how do we get him off my tail? Oh, God. Not like that. Not like that. Um, I keep talking about the Super Nintendo version. Okay, so here, here's something that's coming up. So we have played through 150 games, you know, with Battlezone and Mech Warrior and stuff. We've been having fun checking out some 3D games, and now we're onto Star Fox 64. So I feel like we've kind of completed a, a 3D battle montage over the last few videos, um, which has been pretty fun. Well, Falco's a jerk, man. Falco can help himself. You know, I Fox McCloud is kind of like Jesus. He helps those who help themselves, which basically means he doesn't do anything. <laughs> Fox McCloud, that is. Oh man, I think I damaged my wing. Oh god. I'm not as good at this as I as I thought I would be. Anyway, we've kind of completed a little uh, battle montage here, so we will be mixing it up with the next game. But, we're starting to hit December. And like many of you, I will take a little bit of a break in December. I'm thinking, I'm going to put this Let's Play Thousand One game series on hold probably like mid-December-ish. I haven't fully decided what I want my last game to be for the year. But uh, I will put the Let's Play Thousand One game series on hold for the Christmas season so I can take a little bit of a break myself. But I was thinking I'm still going to be playing games and stuff, so I will still be putting videos up. I may do some Saturday afternoon gamings and stuff, but I thought this would be fun. I haven't done this before. I'm thinking of doing a live stream. So I'm thinking what would be really cool is to play Star Fox on the Super Nintendo. It was one of my faves. It was one of the games that I, uh, I played a lot growing up, so I'm pretty sure I could beat it. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is do a little bit of a live stream. And I'm going to set it up such that it's one of those events that... Uh, that is like listed ahead of time so it won't be one of those things we just get a notification one day and like if you can make it you can watch it and if not you're SOL like I'll put up a notification so a couple days you know in advance oh god I flew under that thing somehow I guess I'm better than I thought so you'll know a few days in advance when it's happening and you guys can come join me I thought it'd be pretty damn cool to actually uh, have you guys uh, you know, be able to chat with me while I play a game. Be able to point out all the things that I'm uh, I'm missing and be able to help me out on things and also just be able to chat a little bit over the break. I thought that would be fun. So anyway, that, that's my plan. I'll, uh, I'll mention it again at the end of the video. Am I supposed to be doing anything with these missiles? Uh, I feel like I shot that guy's leg off and now I'm just kind of like picking on him. I don't know. Can we accelerate here? Whoa! There we go. He's like, I will not be defeated by the likes of you. Meanwhile, you're just like a body lying on the ground, buddy. You have no power over me. Oh, God. Stay away, missiles. Turn around. <laughs> it's real intimidating when, like, the bad guy's just lying on the ground being like, I will not be defeated by the likes of you. Hit plus 10. What does that mean? Okay. So I guess this game is all about dogs versus monkeys. Oh, the, the controller was vibrating. It was vibrating. Okay, I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, our leader is a dog, and I guess we're fighting a lot of evil monkeys. So I don't know how dogs and monkeys got locked in this eternal struggle for the universe, but it feels like foxes, frogs, and falcons, and hares are all just sort of pawns in their evil dog versus monkey game. I don't know. Who is that guy? I That guy... <laughs> I've never seen that guy before. It's just like a robot buddy. Accumulated total, 52. We killed 52 enemies. 52 enemies died a horrible death. And if we kill 100, they'll give us an extra life. Because they're nice people like that. We work for good people, people. 
Now the rumble pack. Oh my god, this thing actually rumbles. This is crazy. So this game was originally sold. How do we pick a multiple, tr a different track here? By the way, can we? In the original Star Fox, you could pick what route you wanted to take through the universe. I don't think you can here. It might be that I had to like get a different ending to that level in order to try a different route. So whatever, that's okay. The asteroid field. In the Super Nintendo version, there was totally like a weird asteroid you could crash into that was actually like a warp zone. Uh, it was like somebody's face. It was kind of weird. Maybe when we play the Super Nintendo version, I can show you guys. But the Rumble Pack. So this game actually came packaged with the Rumble Pack. And it's hard to imagine people being like, Oh my god, my controller's shaking! It's crazy! Like, again, I mean, I guess at one point it was kind of fascinating. Um, it's kind of just a default in controllers these days. I mean, what do you guys think of, like, Rumble, rumble Packs? I don't know. Um, it's kind of like... Just, I, I don't even think about it ever. Like, I'm never usually playing, like, a PlayStation 4 game or, like, you know, an Xbox 360 game, and I'm like, whoa, the controller, the, the vibrations are happening at just the right time. You know, like, they're happening, they're probably adding a bit to the gameplay, but I'm not really ever paying attention. Um, this reminds me of the scene in Star Wars when Han's like, never tell me the odds. I think if we fly through these things, good things will happen, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Because, why not? Oh, yes! We got double lasers! Yeah, that's why you want to do stuff. That's why you want to do random stuff in uh, asteroid fields. I hope that we get to fly inside ships and destroy ships from the inside, like the Super Nintendo version. Oh, shoot. Look at all these dudes. They're just going full hardcore on us. But yeah, like, rumble packs, I don't know. It's, it's hard to... Like, to me, they don't really make much of a difference. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you really like them. I find that for rumble packs, like, what would be more interesting to me is force feedback. If when I try to push left on the joystick, I literally feel it fighting me uh, because something is happening in the game. Like, I'm struggling with a guy, and, like, as I push left, it's pushing right or whatever. Like, force feedback. That would be cool. But I've read that force feedback is not a common feature in game controllers because it's a patented technology. So it's not like Nintendo or Sony can just include whatever they want. If somebody's patented something, they have to, you know, pay them. And I guess nobody wants uh, to pay them. Maybe the, the, like, rights owners want too much money for it or whatever. Oh, God. He was like, use the boost to go through, and I just changed my perspective to first person. There we go. There's the boost. Okay. I gotta get used to all these new buttons. I, like, they had break and boost in the Super Nintendo version, but... Uh, not in this version. Oh god. Get off my tail! Oh my god, guys can get on your tail in this game. That's crazy! So you're not always just saving your compadres. Alright, give me that health. And that health. What's this? Oh god. How was that not a thing to pick up? It was a giant letter 5 floating in the screen. Oh god! Yeah. I'm uh, I'm glad I'm glad that uh, you know you're okay there, but you flew into me, buddy. When you flew right past me, uh, what did we ever do to these monkeys? How did this war get started? Because we should seek peace. There's too, there's too much space space death for my likes. All right, you go you go too far up here. It's like no no, this vast empty area of space is too far away. You go too far down here, it's like, no, no, this vast empty area of space is too far away. Here it's just right. There's a just the right number of enemies right here. See here. What the hell is this? What are these things? Are these bad guys or what? <laughs> if they were, their, their attempts to kill me were futile. It's like, hmm, rather than, like, attacking him, how about we just, like, fly around and dazzle him with a spiral and an amazing array of our, like... Uh, our piloting ability. He'll surrender because he'll know he can do no better. What is this thing? What the heck is this? Hit plus three. What does that mean? I got three gold rings. Whoa, I just got more health. Interesting. You want a piece of me? Uh, maybe I do. You want a piece of me? <laughs> I'm trying to save you, dude. I'm trying to save you from whatever these things are. You, got, you picked up a tail. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're murdering Slippy. Poor bastard. Um, apparently you can get grenades and stuff, too. Old A. To charge your laser. Old A. Will do, Slippy. Thanks for the pro tip, buddy. What are those things? I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. Imagine, like, half these things were, like, allies. 
And it's like, why did you shoot the, like, glowing orange dots? We sent those guys to help you. It's like, oh, yeah. hell if I knew. Just a bunch of stuff floating in space. In fact, what even is our mission? Our mission was kind of like, stuff happened and now go for it. Like, that that could be the, the slogan for, for Star Fox. In fact, most retro games. It's like, I don't know, stuff happened, go for it. Oh, no! Ah, we missed the gold ring. That would have been more health. What are these things? They're like militarized asteroids. He's militarizing the rocks. The man, he's, a, he's an evil genius. Militarized even the rocks. You know you got a lot of time on your hands when you're like just waiting for like your enemies to show up and you're like, well, nothing left to do but like strap some guns on these rocks, I guess. I mean, he's taking a while to get here. Let's just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can make those flowers attack him when he flies by. I mean, I'm really just spitballing here. If you can't tell, like, really anything. If you guys want to suggest something, we can go with that. Oh, we gotta kill these yellow things. Gotcha. You tell me that. If you, you give me like a little note on my ship that says "kill yellow things." I would have done it more cunning than I thought. Ooh, he he figured out to shoot the weak points of my ship that I was conveniently revealing one at a time. I'm shooting into like the butthole of a ship here. Okay, what is this? Okay. That that was no more that was in fact less effective than whatever you tried to do to me last time. Yeah, you're you're terrible at this, aren't you? <laughs> you sometimes you get the feeling when you're fighting these video game bosses that like you beat them and they're like, Yeah, I had no idea what I was doing. I I had never flown a ship before. I was just told to stop you. It's my first day. Really wasn't paying attention during the orientation. Thought I could just wing it. Does not work. Couldn't. What are you doing now, dude? Oh god. Here, take a bomb. Boom. Okay. Oh god. Oh, maybe this guy's. Maybe we underestimated this guy here. Come on. Come on. Boom. Hit plus ten. Believe I lost to this scum. You just call me scum. Sorry to jet. But I'm in a hurry. Whoa, sling. <laughs> Sorry to Jet, but I'm in a hurry. Was that even a pun? That was just straight up a statement. The 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 hero's wit in this game is like literally just saying a word. Alright. Well we uh Thanks, random dude, whoever you are. I will call you Rojo. Rojo. Rojo the helper robot. Hey, Peppy's being repaired. You know what? In Star Fox for the Super Nintendo, if you messed up, guys didn't go in for repair. They straight up died. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's a good thing we have Rojo on our team this time around. <laughs> Uh, I keep talking about the original Star Fox. You know what? One more thing I will say, and I'm going to get off this topic and focus more on this game, is that Star Fox 64 here was not the second Star Fox game ever made. No. They made Star Fox for the Super Nintendo, and then after that, they were like, you know what? Let's make a sequel. So they made Star Fox 2 for the Super Nintendo, and it was like literally months away from being completed, and Shigeru Miyamoto was like, yeah, forget it. Um, they want. They thought it was too dated to put a game out on the Super Nintendo, so they canceled it, and they put all their efforts into this game instead, and decided to put it out for the Nintendo 64 to like highlight the new 3D technology of the new system. So there you go. There could have been a Star Fox 2, but they didn't release it. But you know, the internet, bless the internet, for they managed to get a hold of Star Fox 2, the ROM from one of the original developers of it, and now it's online. You can play it on emulators and stuff. And apparently it's a really great game, and one day I will play that, actually. That I have never played, but it's probably, I think it's somewhere between this and the original Star Fox for Super Nintendo in terms of gameplay. So I have always wanted to play it. I will play it someday for um, my uh, my channel here in some capacity, but I guess just not, not like today. Because uh, today we're playing this. Today we're playing this. So I asked this in the other videos, uh, you know, because I have crossed the 150 games mark in my quest to play 1001 games. But what have you guys been enjoying so far? Um, have you been enjoying, I don't know, like what's your favorite system? What's your favorite game? What's your favorite funny moment? What are things that happened? 
uh, in this past year that you have enjoyed, let me know. Guys, did we ever think, if you started to watch me from the beginning, did you ever think I would even get to 100 videos, let alone 150? I mean, it's not like I'm miles beyond uh, one, uh, 100. But, you know, I mean, I really, I'm committed to doing this thing. It's gonna take me years and years, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna have fun along the way. And you're gonna get, you're gonna get bored of me and angry with me and sometimes happy with me. But along the way, we're gonna play some great games, and, and that's what it's all about in the end. Why are chips coming out of the base? Um, I think I'm just like messing around over here and not like a bomb doing at the base. what I'm supposed to do. A bomb has been planted at the base. Can anyone take care of it? Um. Let you do that. Wolf! Oh my God! There's wolves in this game. And Leon and Pigma. Oh my God! It's like the anti-Star Fox team. I feel bad for killing these guys because, like, now I'm not just killing like faceless enemies. I, I I'd be actually like I'm killing like other dudes. Like we just happen to get caught on the wrong side of the war here. Now we got to kill you. Well, I'll do it because I have to. But I'm not gonna enjoy it. Might take me forever to lock on to you, though. Where, where are you guys? Uh, see, this is <laughs> as soon as the gameplay diverges from what I'm used to on the Super Nintendo, then we're in a lot of trouble. Where are the bad guys? They're, like all behind me or something? Where am I on the radar? In fact, I'm looking at the radar, being like, which one am I? I guess I'm the glowing yellow one. Okay. Oh god. I wish I knew how to do like a barrel roll. It'd be very helpful. Okay, there's there's one guy. I see him. I see him. I can't hit him. I can't hit him worth crap. Move it, He's right behind you. Okay, I would if I knew what that meant. Oh, did he just crash into me? Okay, I'm just gonna go like this. The great Leon. Dude, get off my- there's like- they're, they're all behind me! Where's my team? <laughs> Can anyone, like, take two seconds? There we go. I killed Leon. There you go, that's what you get. I killed your frog man. I watched him burn and I liked what I saw. I'm a killer. Jeez, they're all on my tail. How do you- how do you avoid them? Maybe we can, like, slam on the brakes. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. They're just gonna like continue to shoot me. Oh my god. You're not welcome here. You're not welcome here. Very intimidating. Jesus, get off my freaking tail, man. Reward? Um, okay, I need help, guys. What do we do? What do we do? Get off my freaking tail. If I could just. Like, what is Falco doing? He's just flying around. Dude, shoot them. Can you please shoot them? <laughs> They're all behind me. Do anything. Uh, maybe we just have to wait this thing out. I guess I'm just, I don't know. I'm just going to wait this out and see what happens. Um, just going to fly around in a circle here. Okay, so... It is... In 30 seconds, I guess, I beat the level if I live. So we're just gonna cheap it out. You guys can't hit anything. Oh, God. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. How am I gonna die here? This is, like, level three. Oh, help me. Guys, it was fun. It was fun, but we're not gonna make it. A pig is gonna kill me. A space pig is gonna kill me. Bomb exploding. Keep clear. Bomb exploding. Keep clear. Oh, they got me at the last possible no! second. Ah, oh, but my controller rumbled and it was glorious. All right. Okay, Leon is a pushover. The rest of them have a very curious strategy. It's called get on my ass and not leave it. And it turns out that it's really freaking annoying. <laughs> All right, come here, you bastards. Okay. How do you, how do, you do a barrel roll? I, I literally can't figure it out. Oh, good, and one's already on my tail. 
Oh, come on. Where are ya? I pff, get this guy off me, Slippy. Yeah, well, the sentiment is shared. Oh my god, oh my god. Get off me, you jerks. Okay. So, I, I already can tell you that I like the original Star Fox better than this one. Solely because this part was really pissing me off. <laughs> Get away from me! My green Andros. Go, go. I don't want to tell you what to do because there, there might be children watching. But, uh, you guys can figure it out. Hey, did those two guys peace out? No, they didn't. Of course not. Of course not. Alright, let's. Oh my god! <laughs> Wow. So, little update there. I tried that level like three or four times and literally got killed every single time. Couldn't get those damn bastards off my tail. And then guess what happens? When you die three times, just straight up game over. Not a single continue. And I don't know what I was doing wrong, man. Like I was hitting all the buttons. I was trying to do like a barrel roll. Like, okay, I was doing this. Didn't seem to do anything. Like, first of all, does this do anything? I mean, it helps you go, like, left or right faster, I guess, but it doesn't really seem to do all that much. But how do you do the damn, like, where you fly up and go behind them? Because they were just, like, sticking on my tail, and nothing I did got them off. I would fly around, like, fast like this. Nothing got them off my tail. And, yeah, it's unfortunate, because, like, that is... Oh, God. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Oh, God. Oh, God. Because that is, like, the cool part of this, is that in the Super Nintendo version... They had levels that were kind of like this, where you're flying in a, in a general direction, but they never had those really open levels where you could like fly all over the place and engage in a dogfight. So it's kind of a cool idea. Like I get what they were going for. In terms of me actually being able to do it, uh, I sucked. I sucked bad. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. I uh, in my head I was like, okay, well I don't want to see them. I don't want to just make a video of me like constantly failing. So I'll pass this part. And then I'll edit it together, but then, like, before I knew it, I died three times. And again, I was expecting a continue. I was going to keep trying. And then they just took it away from me. They snatched away my continue. Now, and now to, to console his, his weary brow, Fox is just flying through hoops. He's flying through star hoops. Just trying to make sense of life. Trying to think, what was I, what was I doing wrong? That dick. Star Fox. Star, star Wolf. Just came out of nowhere. Beat me. What, what was that? That was like a weird animatronic teddy bear. That was uh, bizarre. Uh, that guy looks terrifying. He looks like the thing of a child's nightmare. Uh, the yellow mark on the radar shows your position. Okay. And oh, is this where I'm going to learn how to do... You'll do a U-turn. Okay, but how do I do like a move like that naturally? Is this where he trains me? And he's like, by the way, all you have to do is press this to do this. So that's how you break. Okay. Effect is greater if you hold the button. Got it. Press. Wait. C and down. <gasps> God damn it! Are you kidding me? I could have done this the whole time. C and down. That's how you do the damn move. Oh, maybe maybe I should have just done this to begin with. Okay, hold on. Oh, interesting. Say to R to move left or right quickly. Press B to bomb. Oh my god, you know what? <laughs> god damn it. Do I have to give this another try? Oh, I think I got it, guys. I think that now I know what I'm doing. Oh, I gotta give it one more try. Lock onto enemies and charging laser. This is just non-stop tips. Why didn't I train myself before I went into combat? Fatal mistake. Did not train myself before I went into combat. Okay. You know what? We're going back. We get a surprise for Star Wolf and his bag it his, his gang of ragtag enemy pilot dudes. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but we're gonna get him. Look at this new move I learned. Press start to quit. Oh, we're gonna quit, but not in the way you think. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. Andros won't have his way with me? What kind of war is this? Alright, time for take two. No messing around this time. 
With newly honed skills, Gaming J engages the enemy. They're fearful of his new tactics, and his effectiveness has never been higher. Bogey on your tail, Slippy. I got you. Don't worry, buddy. Everything's gonna be okay. I thought they did too, old chum. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, bad architecture, eh? I could use some help here, Fox. I guess I should be thankful. Should be, but you're not. Alright, we're at the first boss and we've been kicking butt. We've been getting all the gold rings, we have lots of health. We know all the moves that we want to do. I'm going to crush you! I will not be defeated by you. Okay, well, I was trying to do the turnaround move, but it wasn't quite working. That's okay. We'll figure it out for next time. Kill this guy's feet. He ain't going anywhere. Boom. We go like this. Like this, right? I will not be defeated by you. We go like this. Yeah, I know how to do the move. Wait. Like this, right? There we go. You annoying little fly. Yeah, well, you're not so nice yourself, buddy. Boom! Destroyed him in no time! Alright, we are now, we're after the asteroids, guys. We're gonna be killing Star Wolf in no time. And by killing a handful of enemies, the planet was secure. Star Fox and his team was pretty sure there were no other enemies left. Either way, they were off to better places. Whatever combat had taken place surely was over, and the planet was likely safe. Falco ship is under it's nice that Rojo thinks he's a part of the team, but he really isn't. How did Falco get down in that one? You see that? He was totally- he's totally dead! He's- he's under repair or whatever. Well, that might have been me. I was a little trigger happy on that last mission. Might have shot down Falco. Don't mess up that R -way. Don't tell me what to do, buddy. This army has more space snakes than you would think. Like, you think one good space snake is, like, anything that is more than, like, any army would need. But, uh, I guess they needed a few. They were like, I don't want to be short on space snakes, so make sure we got a couple in the army. It's the worst when you're heading into combat and, like, you're low on space snakes. It's embarrassing is what it is. Oh, I can make it. Oh, God. <laughs> he was like, use the brake, and I just boosted. Use the boost to get through! Yink! Oh, but barely. Barely made it. What the hell are these things? Here, eat a bomb, buddy. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Supplies of what? What do you mean location confirmed? Aren't you, like, following right behind me? Oh, God. Eh. Eh. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I'm gonna do to you, Star Wolf. Thanks, Fox. Man, Peppy ain't doing so good. You, uh, you might want to get some of those supplies that the robot told us he was bringing, which I've yet to see. Skeptical this robot is really doing his job. I think he's just, he's just in the ship malfunctioning. Somebody needs to go fix that. Give him a hard reboot. The Wi-Fi signal's getting pretty bad. Bet it might want to unplug him and plug him back in. What are these things? Like, what, what did that do? It, like, dazzled me with, like, it was actually beautiful is what it was. Do a barrel roll twice? Okay. I'll tell you what, I did like four or five times. What did that do, though? What did that do? Be clear with your instructions. What is this thing? It's like warping me into, like, the dimension of love. I'm fighting an abstract emotion, guys, and I beat it. You want a piece of me? No, Slippy, don't engage them in combat. They're much better than you. Yeah, you didn't do anything, but sure, you can have it. You need every win you can get, little guy. Oh god. Um, that came out of nowhere. Was, was, were we in, like, was I in danger of giving up? I, I was pretty committed to this. Maybe you were feeling like you wanted to give up? Oh god, these things. Get out of here, boost your way out. Oh, to better times! Damn it. Missed the gold one. Oh, jeez. That's a robot. That's a rock. It's like equally annoying if it's a robot or a rock. It's like you want to avoid them both ways. The voice acting in this game is kind of funny, actually. 
Like it's like it kind of like hoity-toity. It's like it sounds like a really really high class bad guys. I can't allow you to go any further. Like, pay attention to Leon's voice when we get back to Star Wolf. It's actually pretty ridiculous. It's like you would think Star Wolf and his team would be just like a gang of pirates or something, but like, uh, Leon talks as if he's been educated. He's like an upper class fellow. Comes from a very rich, well to do frog family, or lizard family, or whatever the hell he is. I don't know what Leon is. He's green, that's what he is. He knows Kermit the Frog, I'm sure. This thing. I'm missing. I'm missing. Ah! I get zapped. I'm no match for you. That's right, buddy. You might as well just give I up. Admit defeat. Psych! Just kidding. Now I'm gonna kill you. Only you're not because I'm actually gonna kill you. That's how this goes. If this does not work. Oh no! What a what a twist! Oh god. It almost did work, actually. Eh, I'm just gonna tank the damage. Oh, okay, or you could miss. Either way, you're dead. <laughs> Believe it, man. Scum owned you. You got pwned by scum. Sorry to jet, but I'm in a hurry. It's like, is that a pun? I still don't know. Who's still alive, basically? We got Slippy. I haven't seen the rabbit in a while. Oh, he's still alive somehow. Somehow. Hold on there. Maybe you should go in for repairs, rabbit. You don't have to wait until literally you're crashing into the ground to go in for repairs. I give you permission. Well, he healed a bit. Is Falco back? Alright, Falco. Don't let me down, man. We're in the dogfight. Got three compadres this time instead of two. And I know how to spin around. We can't lose! Unless we lose, it'll be so embarrassing. I'm, I'm losing in front of the whole world because it's the internet. All right, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Like how they still use the same sound bite from the original Star Fox. Well, I feel like my allies are actually doing something this time around, but I'm like off doing nothing. So I guess you gotta kill enough of these guys to like lure out the I'll other gang. Let's use these homing shots. They're actually really effective. If I'd known about this, probably would've been a lot easier killing that other team. Like look at that, look how easy that is. Just gotta bide your time. Be careful. Nope, nobody has to die here, on our team at least. Boom! I like how we're just killing a bunch of like spaceships and like we don't care about any of them. It's not until the enemy team comes that we're like, whoa, there's people in these things. Alright, here we go. Let's just shoot a couple down the old fashioned way. Boom, boom! Send you back your wife in pieces or your girlfriend. Or maybe you're single, that's okay too. Or maybe you have a boyfriend, that's okay too. Really? I, I have no no personal biases against you or the choices you made in your life, except that you're on the wrong side of my laser. All right, here we go, the wolf. I've been waiting for you, buddy. Okay, Leon is not a frog. I don't know what he is. He's like a chameleon. Pigma is a pig for sure. I don't know what Andrew is. Like a human? <laughs> like that's a human. It's just it's like Pigma, Froggy, and Andrew. <laughs> okay, there we go. Spin it around. <laughs> Meet my evil team. Wolf, Pigma, Frogo, and Derek. Oh, I don't know where you are, dude. Oh, there we go. Come on, buddy. Boom. Oh, I love this move. Gets you out of trouble so much. Boom. Come on. Yes. Oh, did I did I miss? Did I miss? Oh yeah, I am. Oh man, this is this is like night and day once you know that move because you can keep them off your tail. Also, I feel like I have a much more effective team this time around. I'll do you fast, peppy old pal. They won't have their way with me. I'll do you fast, peppy old pal. 
I'm not saying they put innuendo in this game, but it's not like it's not in this game. Just going out on a record. Oh, yes I am. I just haven't been trying. But trust me, you're gonna go down. I killed a pig! Killed a pig and I never felt so good about it. Um, let's do this move. Oh yeah, we weren't expecting that. Were you, Wolfman? Ah, so that move is just essential to beating this guy, and I just didn't know how to do it before. Oops, not that what move. <laughs> He's like still confused. I'm off by the edge of the map doing it. He's like, there he is again! Son of a bitch, how do you do that? What's that move of his? What's it called? I want to do that move. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, how did I lock in on that thing? Okay, fine, whatever. Is this a thing? Oh, okay, I'm getting shot from behind. Uh... Saka! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Let's take care of these guys first. Oh, we're so close. Uh, this move. There we go. I have to like think about the move before I do it. Okay, where are you, buddy? Where are you, buddy? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, let's do this. And then this. Nope. This. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there he is. Right there, there he is. Oof. 30 seconds. Oh, come on. Where is this guy? 30 seconds. We gotta get him. We gotta get him. Uh, where is he? He's like right on my tail. Can anyone, anyone else want to like help out here? Would anyone like to help me? Dudes, we have like 18 seconds to kill this guy. If anyone would like to help. Like, we're just gonna lose because of time. Okay, so now I don't have a trouble killing these guys, except for this one last guy right on my butt. Like, where is he? I haven't seen him in forever. <laughs> um, did we lose? Did the base explode? I killed everyone, and you're literally about to die. And somehow you won? Emergency maneuvers! Get out of there! Okay. Is this... But what happens? Did we lose the level or not? I, I'm so confused. Was I not supposed to be able to kill that guy? Okay, so we came to reclaim a base. Things didn't go so well. Um, let's not tell the Admiral or General about this one. I'm sure it'll be okay, but he's gonna blame me. I know it. I know it. He's gonna blame me, and that's not gonna go well. Um, oh, I think the whole planet might have exploded. Might have been a pretty big mess up. If, if I failed this level, this is like the longest you failed screen ever. Oh, okay, mission complete. Maybe we weren't supposed to kill that guy. I don't know. Shut up, Slippy. You failed me. Slippy, Falco, and Peppy, we need to have a talk, guys, because I feel like I'm doing the heavy lifting here. You guys are just like show pilots, aren't you? I wonder, like, could I have killed the Star Wolf? I don't know. There you go, guys. Can you kill the Star Wolf? That's a question for you. Oh my god, we've been doing pretty good at this game now. Now that we know how to play it, we're doing okay at least. Um, we're gonna leave that planet, nobody go there. Everything is fine, just, you know, things are kind of wiped out there. Reports indicate that Andros is working on some secret weapon. I'll check it out. Pretty nice show on about checking out that secret weapon. He's like, yeah, okay. No, no, I'll look into it. It's cool. And what what are we in? Whoa! What the Oh, I thought that was one of our guys. I wasn't kind of paying attention. I was like, somebody just killed Peppy. Like totally wiped out our froggy or whoever the hell. Whatever the hell it was. Now we're in like uh space construction area. In the distance there is a uh, green X cloud with blue. That's what that one that one's called. Uh, now we're back to killing people like it ain't no thang. Star Wolf and his two other cronies are just gone. Um, I think I shot Peppy down. That's okay. He's kind of useless. Yeah, well, maybe you should do something then. Instead of just sitting there taking damage. Stupid whatever you are. Alright. I wonder what this super weapon is. It's always like some giant ship or laser. It's like, bad guys are very not creative. Like, I don't know, all this power, let's just build, like, the biggest laser the universe has ever seen. What is hurting me? Oh, God, these 
Those clouds were not good for my health, as it turns out. Hey, we're finally flying into, like, a ship. I dig it. What is gone? Oh, God. Man, I might die from, like... Oh, God, we're fighting in emotion again. Oh, my God. Happiness killed us. Or maybe it was ecstasy. Now he's pissed off. Or sad, I mean. Not pissed off. Funny how Falco, like, really hates your guts until you die. It's like, what do I have to do to make you love me, man? Let's have a little fun. Uh, have some fun by yourself. Because you bother me. <laughs> so, let, let's say, let's do one more level here. Because I've been playing this for a while, and I could keep going till I die again. But, um, you know. I have so many lives. I conceivably could beat this game, I wonder. But I don't want to have like a, you know, one and a half hour video here. So let's do like another level. Maybe we'll do like two more levels. I don't know. We'll kind of we'll kind of go with the flow here. But it feels like we're hitting a point where we should start wrapping this game up. Um, when I do my live stream, though, I'm totally beating Star Fox or Super Nintendo. No doubt about it. That will go on as long as it needs to. I really hope people tune in for the live stream. I don't know. As I say, I've never tried anything like this before. You know what? If no one tunes in, whatever. It'll just be like me recording one of these videos by myself like I do anyway. But it would be really cool if people tuned in. I think it could be really fun. So pay attention. Pay attention. Um, if you're not following me on Twitter, you might want to do so because I'll probably make an announcement on Twitter that, it, that my live stream is happening in a couple days or whenever it is going to happen. So, you know, might want to keep in touch that way. But I think once I add the live stream to my channel, it'll show up. So you should be able to see it there. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that one goes. And that'll be like my test case. I have wanted a lot for a long time to get into doing a little bit of live streaming. I still want the majority of my videos to be like pre-played uh, like uh, like this one is. Oh, God, what's happening here? Uh, but I've I've always thought it'd be fun to do like the occasional live stream. And I haven't been able to do it in the last 150 videos, but uh, I figured no time, you know, better late than never. So I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment with it. So look out for that. It'll probably be after December 15th sometime, and I'll probably try and like it'll probably be like just during the week sometime, and I might pick like an evening and do it. So that's my that's my thought process right now. Um, let me know in the comments if if you're like excited or interested in that. Uh, the more people I hear from, the more like motivated I'll be to actually make sure I do it and. I don't get busy and back out or something, but uh, but yeah, if it goes well, I would I could conceivably do more. Um, this sort of depends on if people are interested. Um, and, you know, I don't know. Not like interest has stopped me for much. If people aren't interested, I'll probably do it, just not as often. <laughs> I tend to do things just just for my own entertainment. I mean, that's how this series started. So back when I first started to play through this book, the Thousand One Games Just Play Before You Die book, I um, you know I, I did it kind of for myself. I kind of just thought it'd be a cool series to exist, and I can't believe no one's done it. So I was like, yeah, I'll make it. Why the hell not? And it's really, really, really cool, actually, that so many of you guys uh, have started watching the channel. I mean, like, um, you know, <laughs> I remember uh, last October, I think I sat at 27 subscribers for, like, two weeks or something. And I started to get really bummed out, being like, oh, man, like, I've capped out at 27. Like, no one's ever going to want to watch this. And then I kind of like had to realize, you know, like remember why I was doing it and stuff. Like it wasn't wasn't necessarily to have like a million viewers, but I was like, you know what? I'm having fun with it. I'm gonna keep going, and the people who do watch it like it. And even if like five people watched, I should keep going. But and so I, I kept going. But you know what? Like more than five people are watching these days. I think that's pretty damn cool. I know I'm a tiny channel. I know that most people have not heard of me, but you know, you guys who do turn tune in and watch. I it it just it, it makes the whole process that much more fun to know that I'm connecting with people over these things and that people are enjoying it. So I would keep doing this even if no one was watching, but I'm really happy that you guys are watching and you guys are having fun. And if you're hearing this, you have watched to near the end of the Star Fox video. And damn man, like you're a hardcore fan. Thank you so much from like the bottom of my little digital 8-bit art here. Um, yeah. Hope you stick around for the next 150. But then after that, you're free. Because that's the 300 videos you watch. You don't have to stop. 
Just kidding. I hope you stick around to all 1001. It's gonna be a party until then. What are we fighting? We're fighting like some random like construction robot. And we're also not even clear on what it wants. It's like asking for stuff. We're like, what's going on? It's like, I don't know. Keep shooting it in the face. Eventually it will make sense. I'm sure of it. Yippee, you did it. Huh? What? Psych! It's not dead. Oh, it's like, uh, uh, uh. Destroy. Destroy. It's like a totally, like, a stereotypical science fiction robot. Oh, God. He's crazy. It's a robot whose face I just blew off. Slippy, no! Why would you do that, Slippy? I see it's literally hurtling towards the planet. Hey, pro tip, Slippy, when you're fighting these things, look for the glowy yellow bits. Oh, God. That's how you damage these things. I think. I think? I don't even know. I can't even tell if I'm damaging this thing anymore. It's damaging me, that's for sure. Uh, can I have like a health bar for this boss? What is happening here? Destroy. Destroy. Do I need to like let it hit me so I can go find Slippy or something like that? So confused. Ow. Hey, my wing is damaged. Damage my wing, cool. <laughs> I knew you could do that in the original Star Fox. I didn't know you could do it here. How do you beat this guy? Is there a way? I just like wasted my time. Um. Well, I guess we we said we're gonna start wrapping this up. Oh, I think we killed him. I was about to like give up and say I don't know what to do here. Couldn't tell if I was doing any damage or not. Okay, let's go ahead and make the last mission the one where we wrap up. Rob. Oh, this like Rob the Robot? I like Rojo better. Rojo makes more sense to me internally. Rojo finds emotions odd and confusing. Humans are humans and foxes and falcons are unpredictable to Rojo. I like how Peppy's down and Slippy is just like Oh shit, I don't know what happened to him. Gone somehow. Are we gonna go save Slippy or are we just like, well, off to greener pastures. <laughs> he knew what he was getting into. We all knew that we could be slapped by a giant robot in space onto a planet's surface and die horribly in a core of magma. Those were the risks we took when we joined the Star Fox crew. Man, I'm so near the end. I feel like I almost should finish it. What are you doing? Just, just to it's say I did, I don't know. There. Tell you what, we'll wrap up. If you stick around after the credits, maybe you'll see something special. Anyway. Star Fox 64. What have we learned here today, guys? I think we have learned that assorted animals work well together in ships. Oh, we're getting a tank. Okay, we're going to end on a tank level. That's pretty cool. The tank is uh, one of the unique new aspects to, uh, to Star Fox here. You know, I think we've also learned that in the war between monkey and dog, the only the only way to win is not to fight. Okay, why is this preferable to a ship? Like, why was Fox suddenly like, well, you know, we're gonna go get sh get get Slippy, but like, I don't want to go in like a ship or anything. Oh God, this thing sucks. This thing's it's garbage. What what am I fighting? A giant crab. I, you know what I really wish? I could fly. You know what they should invent? Here, I got a good idea for the Star Fox crew. A, a tank? Just upgrade it so that your tank can fly and can go into space and can shoot bombs. That's all you need to do. Uh, what I'm describing is the ship that you left to use the tank. Are they complaining about Slippy as they're going to save him? They're like, well, we got to save this guy, but boy is he annoying. Yeah, he sucks. Slippy's the worst. You know, Slippy's ship crashed. It's not like his radio turned off. He could probably hear everything that we're saying right now. I don't know if he, he would appreciate it. How do we get up there, man? Can this thing jump? Now it can shoot bombs. What's this? Bad is what it is. 
Well, maybe I won't beat the game. Maybe you stick around after the credits, you won't see something special. It's a mystery that you're gonna have to stick around and see. By the way, I wonder if there's anyone watching this who's like, stick around after the credits and who doesn't realize I put like a little clip of something at the very, very end of every one of my episodes. Because if so, that is, a, that is a treat for you, sir. You get to go back and look at all those episodes of videos past and see what little secret thing I, uh, I left for you at the end of every video. Anyway here, okay, very quickly, pros and cons of Star Fox 64. This is a, uh, I would say this is a pretty cool remake, all things considered. Yeah, I complained about the game a little bit when Star Wolf was killing me and I didn't really know what I was supposed to be doing. But I've gotten over that. I've, uh, I'm back on board with Star Fox. Um, I was just a little disgruntled because uh, I felt like the game was screwing me. But now, now that I can beat it, I don't feel like it's screwing me at all. Now I feel like it's a very fair game. Uh, funny how that goes. <laughs> oh god, a tank over the hill. Um, yeah, the, the controls are pretty good. The the graphics are like pretty good for an N64 game. Oh god. I would say it's it's more challenging than I was expecting. And it's, I think, more challenging than the first Star Fox game. Although that's probably like, oh god, a matter of uh, opinion. Oh, get the stuff! Yes, yes, oh god. Uh, but... <laughs> All things considered, I mean, you know, this is a pretty good game. I would say that, you know, like, the cons are that, I mean, the graphics are a little dated. Um, the controls, although they're decent, they're not, like, the best. Like, it is, I still find, like, the N64 controller a little awkward. And it isn't, like, totally intuitive to me yet how to, like, control uh, my ship, or in this case, the, uh, the tank. I, like, I, I figured out most of the controls now, but, like... When I do my like little, you know, back thing, I don't even think I can do it in the tank. When I do my little like barrel roll thingy to like get behind enemies in the ship, I have to like think about it really. Like it's not super intuitive how to do that. I wish they had made it slightly more intuitive. I probably get used to it with enough time, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to think of like too many specific cons. I mean, like ultimately, you know, is this a game you must play before you die? I I would say so. I would say like I get why it's in the book, and. Yeah, it does, it does feel like it's a, it's a good game, first of all, and I know it's a very iconic game. So, yeah, I would say a game you might want to check out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, thank god I got that extra health. I can't believe we survived. Alright, let's find this, this, this dude Slippy, and then let's sign off. Guys, look, I found my friend. Oh, he's he's being held by a giant monster, though. That's not a good thing. Uh, Slippy, just hang in there, bud. Hang in there, bud. We're, we'll, we're, we'll get you out of this. We'll get you out of this, Slippy, I swear. I swear, Slippy. <laughs> uh, he'll be fine, I'm sure. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead, give it a like, give it a subscribe. But we'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game on my ongoing quest to play through the book 1001 Games You'll Play Before You Die. This has been episodes 149, 150, and 151, the 3D combat uh, mini set. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this thing. I don't know how to jump in this tank. I think it's an essential skill. How, how would you do it? Whoa, whoa, wait. What? What? The tank can fly! Oh my god, I'm learning new things about tanks every single day. <laughs> Guys, until next time, don't find yourself in giant space battles against plants, weird plant monsters. It does not go well. Even if you have a flying tank, even if you think you are a piloting genius, just try to avoid these types of battles. Trust me. I know from experience. <laughs> See? There you go. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves, and peace. Good to have you back, Slippy. Just kidding, you're useless.